The trial of two members of the Gun Trace Task Force revealed widespread corruption in the Baltimore Police Department. Among those implicated through officers' testimony in stealing from citizens was Detective Sean Souter, who was shot and killed in November, the day before he was supposed to go before the grand jury in the case. His death, which resulted in a nearly week-long lockdown of a predominantly black neighborhood, was followed by a hero's funeral. But as the months have dragged on, his death remains a mystery. Newly appointed police commissioner Daryl D'Souza told ABC2 News that he would bring in an independent consultant to help determine what happened to the detective. Immediately following the conviction of Task Force Officer Daniel Herschel for racketeering and robbery, his brother Steve indicated that the disgraced detective knew what happened to his former colleague. And you got guys resigning, walking out the door with their head down to the commissioner, to Paul Mayer, all of them, why are their heads down? Hey, is there an unsolved murder of a police officer? They know what the hell happened. They know what the hell My brother Danny Hersel knows what happened. Do you know what happened? Oh, yeah, I know what happened. Well, what happened? Oh, yeah, well, you're going to find out what happened. And you're going to find out a lot more. Because Danny is going to tell you what's going to happen. He's going to write a book. And, he, and he's going to do some talking. He, his day's not done. Steve Hersel was referring to Deputy Commissioner Dean Palmier. Momadou Gondo, one of the officers who pleaded guilty, testified that his longtime partner, Jamel Rayum, murdered a man in 2009 because he didn't feel like chasing him. Palmier, Gondo said, came to the scene and concocted a story to cover up the crime. Palmier announced his retirement a few hours after Gondo's testimony. Dean Palmier, who covered up a murder and much more. Let's talk about let's talk about an unresolved shooting. Let's talk about the corruption on top. Everybody starts from the bottom, little guy. My brother Danny Hersel wasn't a part of this gang. He was trying to get out of this gang. He begged, he cried, he cried to the family. He cried to everybody to get out of this gang. He didn't want to part up. So when you're saying that about Palmier and people, is that stuff that he told you or is that stuff you're hearing in court? Th that's facts. It's unclear whether or not D'Souza's outside investigators will talk to Herschel, but they should. Former Baltimore Police Commander Neil Franklin says that investigations regularly function by turning criminals into witnesses. Now we have police officers who are the criminals on the stand under the gun to give more information, to give up more names of who they're involved with, who's committing other criminal acts, and they're doing it but we can't believe them? Why, why is it that we can't believe them, but we believe, you know, as criminal investigators and police officers, when we go after gang members and others and we charge them and then they start telling about their accomplices and so on, we, we believe them. And they're what we call career criminals, right? But now we got criminals in uniforms doing the same thing, but we can't believe them because they're talking about other people in uniforms.